Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned. Today we are back with some more Discord.js coding tutorials. Today we're going to be doing the command handler, which I know has been highly requested. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Today we're going to be installing Nodemon, which is just a reload automatically kind of thing. Uh, whenever you save a file in your um, in your bot, it is going to notice that and it is going to update or restart the bot itself. So to do that, all you're going to have to do is type in npm install dash g nodemon. It might not do anything for me because I already have it installed because this is the second time trying to record. So we'll see. All right. So once it is done, we can go ahead and run our bot by doing nodemon instead of node and then index.js. And bam, the bot is online. Um, someone obviously got my my bot and put it on their server for some reason, whatever. Um, either way, now whenever we save a file or change a file or whatever, or add a file even, um, it will update for us. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Whoopsies. Go ahead and stop it. And now we can get into the actual tutorial. So to do a command handler, we're going to first set up a new folder inside of our bot and go ahead and call it commands and then once that is made I'm gonna go ahead and start a new file first we want to decide what I'm gonna transfer over to this new file first um so I'm gonna do report yeah we'll do report so let's go ahead and make a new file inside of commands called report.js all right, so there's a couple things we got to do inside of this first. Um, the first thing is obviously get the Discord library. Uh, require discord.js. And then we're going to start the module. So module.exports.run equals async bot message oops, args. And then this is going to be an arrow function. So do we don't need to put anything inside of there right now, but let's go ahead and make another exports dot help equals name report. So now that that's set up, we can go ahead and we need to read all the files within their commands folder. So to do that, we're gonna have to require a file system. This comes with um, with uh, node.js, so we're good. We don't have to download anything. So require fs. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and read the directory. So we need to get what's in here, and then we need to remove the period and the js. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and fs.read there. And then we're going to specify where we, we want to go. Command. Is it commands? Yes, commands. And then we want to set it. If there's an error with a file, we just want to see what it is. So arrow function, another one of those. And if there's an error, console.log error but if not we're gonna go ahead and get the the command so files dot filter file f for file an arrow function f dot split and then we're gonna get rid of the period and then dot pop equal yeah equal JS. So let's go ahead and put in if JS file dot length is less than or equal to zero, which it really can't be less than, but if it is, then we have a def we definitely have a problem. Console dot log couldn't find commands. Hit return. So, if there's no commands, it's just gonna log it. Um, 
say we went in well I don't want to delete it well we can delete it real quick so I'm just gonna copy all this and close it and then delete that so nope oh. files is not defined oh derp. couldn't find commands there we go so now if we do have a file say report.js oops uh, it copied that why did it copy that all right so I'm gonna have to rewrite this code all right so once you have this back set up we can go ahead okay so it doesn't log anything because it did find a file so let's go ahead and just set it up so it says what commands are loaded so we need to do a for each loop and we're just gonna do it below this all right so JS file for each and we're going to F I and F is just for file and then um, I is going to be a placeholder for the number of files it is so another arrow function inside of this go ahead and add your semicolons of course and then we're going to set props equal to require and then this is where we're going to use backticks commands and then we're going to be do, do an object for F and that's just going to get the file so once that is done if that doesn't error out we're going to go ahead and console log object F loaded And then we're gonna while we're here, let's just go ahead and set bot.commands. Right. Hold on, actually we might have to do that later. Yeah, no, this is right. Actually we forgot to set the, the collection, so let's go ahead and do that. So bot.commands equal new discord.collection. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and set prop dot help dot name props. So now that that is done, let's just go ahead and make sure it works. So console dot log works. That should work. Yes. Bot is not defined. All right. So my stupid self just noticed that we have the bot below that. So let's just go ahead and put that up here. So now that everything's defined, we should be good. There we go. Report.js loaded. So now to use it, we're going to go ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just comment everything out for now and we'll just start transferring this, this report command over. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the report command. We don't need to grab that. We just, we don't need the if command equals prefix report. We just need what happens when that report or that command is issued. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then we can paste this guy right in here. I'm just going to go ahead and uncomment that. Theoretically, we should be all done. Well, we have to actually inside of the message on the bot on message um, event, we have to go ahead and set all right so inside of this we have to go ahead and set a command file so command file equal to bot.commands.get and inside here we're going to go ahead and do command dot slice prefix dot length 
So that's going to go ahead and get the the uh, re the file that we need, and then to run it, if command file exists, command file dot run with bot message args. So, so long as everything works, which hopefully it will, let's just go ahead and save again, just in case. Okay. I'm just going to go restart it manually. There we go. Okay. So, report at TSC bot for having a command handler. Oh. Message, I'm missing an E, where is that? Ah, that'll help. Go ahead and reload, let's try that one more time. TSC bot for having a command handler. All right, so it does work, guys. That is the command handler. That way you can go ahead and get rid of all this nasty stuff in your main file and go ahead and make individual command files. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave that like. Go ahead and leave that comment to let me know what you want to see in the next episode. If you have any questions at all, feel free to join the Discord server. That's going to be down below as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.